Good evening on the Game Chooser, and tonight we're going to be looking at indie fighting game Last Fight. Developed by French based developers Piranha King and based on French comic book Last Man, Last Fight is essentially the Power Stone game we've been waiting for Capcom to make for the last 16 years. Back in the names of the Dreamcast, the original Power Stone was one of my favourite games. It was different to pretty much all other fighting games at the time and was an absolute blast to play, especially with friends. The sequel, inevitably named Power Stone 2, added an extra two players, and to be honest I'm actually not quite as up on that as the original, but I've been aching for a sequel for a good decade and a half. Well, Capcom probably aren't going to give me what I want, but alas, last fight seems like it's going to give it a damn good go. The game sees you in an arena with full movement and the ability to pick up and use weapons as you fight. As Power Stone, power-ups appear and when all are connected you transform into a strong special character that generally leads you to destroying your opponent. Now the story mode follows Duke Diamonds or Richard Aldana in a mission to save Richard's girlfriend who's been kidnapped by a secret organisation amongst an epidemic of drug craze rioting. It's all pretty silly but it actually fits the theme of the game well. The cast of 10 characters feature a wide range from aliens to hobos to goat faced businessmen to sort of undersea creatures to things that look like it came out of Doctor Who, but generally playing all of them is actually quite similar and there's not a massive diverse range of abilities. There are however 4 different transformations to experience and these do radically alter the style of play and are all really different. Some are better than others, but all were fun and they also are pretty much a key part of winning a fight. There's also a number of different weapons to unlock and pick up, most of which are simply used to throw at your opponent, but there are some really good things such as rocket launchers that add a depth to the gameplay. Now one of the biggest issues I have with the game here is that there's just not enough in the way of differences amongst the stages, and most of them really are just square arenas not really filled with an awful lot. Power Stone had a lot more things to interact with, or at least my memories of Power Stone had a lot more things with it to interact with, and the game could definitely do with a few more things littered throughout the stages. The game however is great fun, especially when played with friends. Currently sadly there's only local multiplayer available, which is a shame, as is the case of most indie games, that's probably never going to change and there'll never be online multiplayer, but if ever there was a case for using Nvidia's screen share feature this is definitely a good one. I've enjoyed playing Last Fight and it invokes a lot of fond memories of Power Stone. Sure it's not perfect but it's a fun game that's worth playing for all fight fans and fans of Capcom's aforementioned Dreamcast Brawler as it's probably the best you're gonna get. Chante jusqu'au bout de la nuit de flash en musique funky. Je vais te faire courir. Round one, fight! If you've enjoyed tonight's video, please like and subscribe. Remember to come and check us out at thegametutor.co.uk where news, articles, and videos are updated on a weekly basis. Also, please check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Daily Motion.